Production. You're watching a Kevin Way Production. Kevin Way Production. You may have seen this gadget lying around in places like office cubicles. The Newton's Cradle is an apparatus which consists of several rocking metallic spheres. It is commonly seen as an executive toy, a novelty item that's placed on the desk of corporate executives and other office employees, yet serves absolutely no work-related purpose. Named after the physicist Sir Isaac Newton, it demonstrates the conservation of momentum and energy. If one ball is raised, what do you think will happen when it's released? First, let's take a look at some physics principles. Newton's cradle is a prime example of an elastic collision. In an elastic collision, two objects collide and return to their original shapes with no loss of total kinetic energy, just like billiard balls. The law of conservation of momentum states that the total momentum of all objects interacting with one another remains constant regardless of the nature of the forces between the objects. What this basically means is that the total momentum that one object loses is equal to the one that the other object gains. Also, energy is conserved. As the first ball is raised, the system's gravitational potential energy increases. When it's released, the ball gains kinetic energy. At the bottom, also known as its equilibrium point, its energy becomes solely kinetic as the ball swings past its equilibrium position, the kinetic energy decreases while the gravitational potential energy increases. Using this knowledge, let's take a look at what the final outcome would be. In a vacuum, Newton's cradle will ideally run on forever due to the absence of frictional forces. Because energy and momentum is conserved, the distance from the ground to this point will be the same as the resulting height. As Newton has stated, forces always exist in pairs. The initial force is ideally equal and opposite to its resulting force. In addition, the number of balls set in motion do not play a major role in Newton's cradle. The time it takes to reach its point of equilibrium, indicated by the metallic clicks, will be the same in any situation. Newton's cradle shares the same principle as that of a pendulum. The application of the pendulum can be seen in many modern day devices. Without this concept, tools such as seismograph devices and catapults would not be a part of our history books.